So I woke up this morning for continental breakfast and uh, brought it upstairs into the room. I was still snoozing at that point. Um, had myself a little cinnamon toast crunch mm-hmm. and a muffin. There was a muffin. That was nice. Now we're up proper and uh, we're going to go grab a, uh, a little bite to eat somewhere. Um, we're going to be meeting up with the wedding party at noon um, for drinks, but there's no food there. Um, so we're going to eat ahead of time. So me and Mal have got something we're going to do. What Do you know where we're going? You picked out a place? Uh, I have it pulled up on my phone, but I'm also writing in my techo. I didn't want to bring it, so I'm writing okay. yesterday's yeah. entry. I see. Okay. So we're going to go eat something and that sounds good i like food the other thing i did is i i spent the morning um looking up some video game stores in the minneapolis st paul area and i also asked on twitter too so i could get some other recommendations there's quite a bit actually um surprisingly there's even more tabletop stores around there's a lot of tabletop stuff um, but there's also some a pretty good number of um, video game stores, so I think that that might be something that we do today as well. So let's get started with some food, because even though I was I didn't eat that cinnamon toast crunch all that long ago, that wasn't really that much. The sandwich looks really good. Uh-huh. You get sourdough too. Mm-hmm. That's a good choice. And a, uh, a chai latte. I just got like a little breakfast platter. Mine almost looks like a sandwich. There's some hash browns under there. Over medium eggs. Is that? Oh, it's jam. That's right for the toast. That looks good. Colossal Cafe was packed. Um, I mean, it, it it clearly was very very popular. I got to tell you, uh, it was uh, it was okay. The sourdough was definitely the best part. I, my issue with it. And this, I do run into this issue occasionally in the Midwest, is that the food is underflavored. <laughs> and this very specifically, like, the problem I had was the sausage. I ordered sausage because typically you order sausage. Sausage is very flavorful. Um, and that was the weirdest, mildest sausage I've ever had in my life. It was flavored with oregano and basil. And I was like, I, I took a bite of it, and my first bite, I was like, "Oh my god, this is the most disappointing sausage I've ever had." And I gave it to, I gave a, a piece to Mao, and she's like, "You know, it's got flavor. There's some oregano and basil in there." I'm like, "But it's supposed, to, like, sausage is supposed to like punch Settle. you. It's supposed to really hit you. Mm-hmm. I mean, you can really extract some good flavors, man. There's some good stuff that you can do to a sausage, and." Oh, that was just, it it looked like it was cooked well. Like I liked the presentation of the sausage. Mm -hmm. The bread was amazing. But man, Mm -hmm. yeah, I don't, it's very, it's not very often that I speak ill of like any particular food or a place (laughs) or anything. I really don't. Like anyone that watches the vlog knows that like I go, I I try to be, be very positive about wherever I eat. But like that was one instance I was like, man, please flavor this food. Please. Hey, there they are. Look at that. So after we uh, met up with everyone for drinks, we were there for a little bit and and chatted with folks. Uh, We kind of rode out and and looked at a few game stores. Two. Two. We went to two game stores. one of them was in this tiny little mall. I didn't film anything in the store because we really weren't there that long. And uh, inside the mall was these giant peanut statues. Get a load of these big old peanuts statues. This is incredible. I have no idea why they're here or what they have to do with this bakery, but I love them. I love them so much. And then uh, after after that store, we went to another store called um, One Up Video Games. Um, we actually, 
<laughs> got a new copy. Got a copy of that. Got a new copy of Big Brain. So that stream is coming. Um, that store, that store was really cool. They had a lot of stuff in there. They were also doing um, card games. And so actually, when I was doing research on on stores and stuff in the area, that that kind of kept coming up. There's a lot of what I call combination stores. They're stores that they're not just video games. They're also doing card games. You know, they're also doing Magic and Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh! And, um, you know, that, that store, one up video games was like, it was doing that. It was doing all of the, the card game stuff. And there were people in there playing cards, but then also they had a, a lot of video game stuff. Um, and, and, you know, honestly, I was telling Mal this. It's like, I feel like for a long time, and this isn't a slight against any of the stores that we went to. I feel like the prices at the stores we went to were fair. It's just, I feel like in a minute, in a general sense that it's so difficult now to get into retro video game collecting because the market has changed so much and it's just really depressing. It's really depressing. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I really, I, I told Mao, it's like, you know, it's not that I want to stop collecting video games, but I really feel like the manner in which we do it, it's probably going to have to shift because it's it's insane like you go into a store and everything has changed now and uh i'm like you know i think that if we want to continue to collect video games we're going to have to put more of a focus on uh things that we used to spend a lot of time doing which was like going to yard sales going to flea markets um you know going to uh a goodwill or a salvation army or something like looking through that sort of thing because you know trying to just go in and, and buy games now the market for almost everything has changed so immensely that it's it's wild it's wild it's it's becoming less accessible and uh that just sucks anyway then we went to another store this was a store that apparently mao had mentioned the other day i didn't hear you mention this this was something that haley had mentioned yeah and then Mao was like oh i mentioned that too and i didn't even realize it's called axeman surplus and man I don't even know how to describe this it's a store. store. It is. It's so if you if you if you have an Ollie's or a Big Lots, it's kind of like that, but way more eclectic. eclectic. <laughs> I mean, a lot of electronic parts, like just weird things. But then also, like when when I first walked in. You know, there was just all of these vials. There was like, they had an entire section of like beakers. And then there was an entire section of the store. A huge section was just like- Transistors and- I was gonna say the like the tiny, tiny vials and oh, bottles. Oh, empty nail polish bottles. Like every little tiny little thing. And like, I get it, it's a surplus store, but like it was so weird. And there's three locations, and I just kept thinking, how does a place like this stay in business? And every item has, like, this like, unique sign to it. Yeah, and that's actually one of the appeals, right? Is yeah. that all of the, the stuff written on the signs is hilarious. So it's it's absolutely worth just going in there to look. And they have a they have a thing called the X-Man Dozen that says if you buy 12 of anything in the store, you get the 13th for free. And I'm like, this is just such a weird, it's such a weird store. I feel like my dad would love that store honestly it's 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 such a very unique place but i enjoyed walking around in there so now we're gonna go to carly's we're gonna hang out with carly and she kyle said a little we're gonna bit. order chicken sandwiches and hang out and maybe watch the viking game but eh. i think it's already on actually okay one thing i don't love is it started getting dark at 4 p.m uh, what was the name of the place that we got the food from? Mavericks. Mavericks. Okay, we got dinner from Mavericks, and it's kind of unusual because, like, we're in Minnesota, and one of the things on the menu is a pulled pork sandwich with uh, coleslaw and, you know, onion straws, and it has a Carolina gold sauce. And that is so weird because that is like very specifically a South Carolina thing. You have so. struggled to find it in North Carolina. Exactly. Mm -hmm. That's the big thing. And like yet it's it's here. That's really good. And it is good. Yeah, I, I yeah. I, I ate mine very quickly. It was like, ooh, interesting. But yeah, it was good. Um anyway, we're hanging out with Carly and, and Kyle tonight. Uh 
We had some dinner. We're going to play a game or something. Mm -hmm. Also, you guys are married now. Yeah. There it is. Oh, I guess there it is. <laughs> Did you say no? <laughs> She said, nah. Yesterday was just a large illusion. Yep. It's just a, yep. Yeah. Why am I wearing this then? For fun. Oh my god. <laughs> I am not. I. I. Still Carly. I'm grabbing glasses. I'm grabbing things. I don't. Yeah. Understand it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like it feels weird still. Yeah. It and takes it a while. It, it takes like six while. months. So yeah, that's, so your, that's, yeah. actually, that's actually what your mom said. Okay, so you yeah. Can, yeah. In six months, if you forget it for a day, it'll feel weird. It'll be like, God, you're, you're missing you'll, you'll something. You'll feel like your hand is yeah. naked. Yeah. 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 Now it's, I actually went to bed last night and I went, should I slept with this on? Because like, I know Carly takes her ring off. So I, I think know. my knock with this a little bit more like. Oh yeah, owie! If I like, I take money off. on it. Yeah, and and yeah. actually for mine, it's going to help keep better if you take it off and when you're showering and sleeping. Right? Um, Yours, you're fine. You can leave it on. Yeah, that's what I was hoping because like Stephen takes his off at night. Yeah, oh, do you? Okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. I take mine off, but I mean, I have it on like otherwise all the time. Otherwise, all the time. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I I was wondering if that was you know what's Personally, ring protocol. Yeah, I am terrified of having a ring get stuck in my finger. So if I take it off every night, and I know it's harder to get off, I'm like, mm, maybe I shouldn't wear it for a few days because I'm worried about it just being stuck. Daddy had to have his cut off. I know, but he, that's daddy. <laughs> <laughs> no, no normal person. <laughs> yeah, no. I mean, it yeah. does happen. There's a yeah. lot of people that have to get theirs cut off because mm -hmm. of whatever reason. They just never take it off, and they're like, oh, it's getting tight. I should probably deal with that. And then they don't, and, and they then can't it gets get worse. It off. Yeah. yeah. But, like, I feel like... I did have a little of that okay. anxiety this morning because I've been playing with it nonstop. So I've been circling, doing this, yeah. and I got to about here this morning, and it was stuck. And I was like, "Oh God, oh God!" And I pushed it back down. And I was like, "It's fine. You'll, you'll get it up later. You get it up <laughs> yeah. later." The the playing with it is definitely a part of it. Yeah, like, yeah, and then it depends on the how the weather, yeah. how hot in it is. In the winter, yeah. it'll be easier to get off. I've noticed because. I have trouble in Raleigh, but here where it's been cold, I have no trouble easy. getting my yeah. rings off. The summer is mm -hmm. going to be maybe a little harder to get yeah. off sometimes. Yeah. Yeah, because you guys have seasons. Yeah, we do. They're nice. I would like them. But, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I guess we have more seasons now. We have more seasons now. We're yeah. in fake winter right now. Yeah, we're in fake winter. We're in fake first winter. winter. Oh, yeah. Winter. Fool's yeah. winter. Fool's winter. winter. That's right. It, uh, it becomes... It be, there's going to be 30 30 heat degrees. wave next yeah. week. Heat yeah. wave. 40 degrees. <laughs> God. I'm and then just... they'll get real winter. What is yeah, real winter? Like because... snow always. Like, it like it stays snow cold, always. It doesn't melt. Snow yeah, always. Yeah, yeah. Like this will melt next week potentially with the, the warmer-ish mm -hmm. weather. But then mm -hmm. like, yeah, at some point there'll be just snow on the ground for a while. Yeah. Then it'll be 13 degrees all the time. Eh, it can get nice. ish Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Or could you mm. get down to negative two? Yeah. So, Stephen, you want to move here? Uh-huh. No, I'm good. Thanks. <laughs> oh. So, um, we actually didn't end up playing a game. Uh -uh. We sat at the table and, and just chatted, but I think it's largely because, you know, there was a lot to chat about. <laughs> we, we don't obviously get a chance to hang out with Carly and Kyle very often, so it was... Uh, it's nice to do so and just kind of chat. And uh, I actually think we're probably going to get a chance to to see them tomorrow as well and hang out a little bit tomorrow, which is really, really nice. Um, we didn't really talk a whole lot about the wedding yesterday other than the fact that it was it was great. And it was great. I mean, it was it was a really it was a really well executed wedding. Yeah, I like everything was planned well and went off without a hitch and it was great. It's really easy to just say that, like to be like, oh, yeah, that wedding was great. But like, mm, no, this this wedding was really, really great. I mean, um, it really was like it was well planned. Everything flowed really, really well. Every aspect, like every individual aspect of the wedding was really good. And um, it was very clear from I mean, just seeing people, but then also talking to them that like the wedding went off without a hitch. Everyone had a really great time. So. I didn't talk a whole lot about it yesterday because we got back and we were very, very tired, but it was a good wedding. It was a really, really good wedding. Anyway, and they seem obviously uh, in, in high spirits today, too. So there was a long day today, too, you know? Yeah, Because actually, we didn't, um, 
the apparently the wedding party actually got up earlier, and they had breakfast. Mm-hmm. Um, and we didn't we didn't end up doing that. Me and Mal didn't do that, but um, you know, so there's there's a lot of stuff actually today. So yeah, busy times. But I'm you know, I'm mean, I'm happy for Carly and Kyle, and then I'm also grateful that they uh, you know willing to share the their time with us while we're in town. And that means a lot too. So. We'll see him a little bit tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. And then tomorrow actually is also the day that we leave. So we'll see how that goes. Because um, we got to return the car, I think, at 5? Yeah, at 5. And then we fly out, you know, shortly after that. So mm-hmm. we uh, we have to be out of the hotel at noon, but we return the car at 5. So we got this, this like, five-hour period where, you know, we can do things if we want. And... Uh, I'm not exactly sure what we'll do, but we'll do something. But we'll figure it out tomorrow. I'm going to end my my day with another (laughs) hot chocolate. Mm. I've been having hot chocolate every night uh, because I deserve it because it's cold. I have to walk in from from the snow area. And uh, as soon as I as soon as you come in the door of the lobby, there's a, a little station there to get a hot drink. And uh, you come in, and I'm like, I'm cold. I want, I want something hot, and there's a hot chocolate. And I'm like, yeah, that's exactly what I want. So it's been nice. Okay, I'm done. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, let's be back tomorrow, shall we?